Hi, I'm Steve and I'm with I-94 RV and this is a 1998 Winnebago Brave. So this is a 35 WP model, so that means it's got one big slide out. Uh, it's got a rear queen bed and this coach got about 84,000 miles on it and it's got a Ford 460 for the engine. So let's take a walk around it. Um, one thing about the Ford 460 is uh, I've sold quite a few of these coaches, older coaches with that 460 engine and this is the last year you could get that from Ford. It's a very well made engine so uh, no reliability issues at all. So the V10s are great engines but the first ones out were a little iffy. The last 460s to come off the production line were awesome so you should really have some trust in it. Um, overall sidewalls look good on this coach. Got some nice storage here. So this passes through. Yeah, these are all slammable. And right here, there's a little entertainment center. So a couple speakers. So there's a 12 volt outlet, cable hookup, 110 volts. And then since this is a, uh, a cassette player, you can use that as an iPod input. So that's so you can use your iPod on this baby. You got some, uh, this is the table that hooks onto that entertainment center and then you got some more storage or some big storage in there. Little storage there. And this is your water heater. Uh, the tires on this coach are mostly in good shape, um, but they're mismatched. So, but they did seem to drive all right. Uh, and the awning is, there's no awning. Okay. Right here is propane tank, and then this is the fresh water, part of the fresh water system, this is the fresh water tank. So this is kind of cool, this coach has like a self-winterize, the tank's all um, protected from the elements and uh, heated by the interior heat. So Winnebago does a lot of nice steps. And then just some more storage here, this passes all the way through to the other side. So it's like a long, low, skinny storage. And then this, this is the freshwater intake, or where you fill up the freshwater tank. Okay, on the back of the coach, um, looks to be in good shape. I don't see any damage. And you got all these cool bumper stickers, like RV there yet. And then a little bit more storage under the bed. So it all looks in pretty good shape. The decals are a little, uh, or I should say they're faded. Pretty much all around, they've got some sun fade. All right, there you have it, own it, 5,000 watt generator, so all kinds of power. This uh, Winnebago motorhome has two air conditioners, so that generator will really come in handy to run both those airs. Uh, this is a 50 amp cord, so that's your electric cord storage. And then in here is the holding tank compartment, and again, Winnebago does a nice job on this. The holding tanks are nestled way up in there. Uh, they build their tanks out of rotocast style plastic, should be life, last, last the life of the coach, no problem. And then this is all heated in a plastic compartment, so, or it's at least protected. Um, again, tires are like kind of mismatched, the rears are snow tires. Uh, they look to be in okay shape though. And uh, on the Winnebago's, the, the storage goes out with the slide room. Uh, the slide room and jacks on these coaches are all designed by HWH. Uh, great design, should last the lifetime of the coach. Again, Winnebago does a really nice job on their slide room design. So you got all this nice storage that comes out with the slide so you don't have to bend down and get under the slide to get at it. Oh, I got to point out something over here. On this back fender well, there's a crack. Uh, so, you know, the floor is right here, and this is the sidewall going up. This is just a fender well. I'm not sure why it cracked, but anyway, so you know. Okay, one thing uh, that's just nice about Winnebago product, um, hands down, safest product on the market. Like, for instance, this whole front end is built out of a steel roll cage. Windows are glued into the steel and these fiberglass caps are just small little decorative elements. They aren't, like on most brands, the fiberglass cap supports the whole windshield system. Uh, this is designed for safety by Winnebago. Safer than any other product for sure. Uh, under the hood looks nice. You can basically just get it the air cleaner, windshield wiper, and, and fluids there.
So uh, this tire is just a little dry rotted. The other front tire is too. All right, going inside the coach, you know, it's got 84,000 miles on it, so there is some wear and tear, but not too bad. I mean, the, the carpet's in good shape. The, um, the front dash and everything looks real nice. Uh, you know, this coach has heated mirrors, heated electronic mirrors, which is nice. It's got a CD player, and then the dash lifts up so you could get at all the fuses and wiring. That's a Winnebago thing. It's kind of nice. And then over here is the controls for the jacks. And they are uh, HWH system. All that stuff works good. The slide, the jacks, all the major RV systems work great. So you got this little table and chair combo, lots of storage up above. And then in the kitchen, again, tons of storage. You got a regular, a standard microwave, which is nice and clean, range top oven, drawers beneath, these four drawers, all this storage under the sink. Winnebago really goes the extra mile. Even here, uh, you got access to underneath the dinette seats, so there's storage under both of them. And then there's storage all above in the slide. Okay, I should note here, you know, this is a uh, like a jackknife sofa, so it folds down to a bed flat, and it's also got some wear and tear on the cushions, or the uh, fabric. Oh, and some stains on the uh, day-night shades. All right, let's take a look in the back. A couple little things to note. The floor's kind of peeled up in here. And um, the cabinetry under here is peeled. I'm not sure what caused that. I can only imagine it might be from something leaking out of the refrigerator. But either way, it doesn't seem to be affecting anything right now. So the fridge is all clean, in nice shape. We tested that, works good. All right, in the back bedroom, you, know, you got a nice clean mattress. I opened up all these cabinets and everything, tons of storage in there, and, and everything's nice and solid. No signs of any leaks in the roof or anything that I see on this coach. And by the way, Winnebago uses a one-piece fiberglass roof on these RVs, so that's a really nice, sturdy design. Uh, these these uh, valances are kind of beat up on both sides. And then let's just lift the bed real quick. A lot of storage under there. Then you've got this big hanging shirt closet. So that'd be good for your stuff. And in the bathroom, um, there's like stains or something on the sink, but there's some storage in here. Uh, got a nice toilet. And then I did notice the skylight has maybe leaked a little, or, or this is uh, from steam off the shower. But this area has like got a little bit of peeling on it. Uh, anyway, I'm 5'11", I fit in the shower all right. So let's go take it for a drive. Okay, we're driving down the road uh, in the Brave, and we're going 70 miles an hour, and it drives excellent. Uh, hands off the wheel, goes nice and straight down the road. So the engine, the transmission, the steering, the brakes, everything all feels real good on this coach. So should be a good, reliable RV.